A nightmare is realistic. You feel like you're there. I'm paralyzed from it because I can't wake up from it. During her nightmares, Lauren has reenacted the sexual abuse. I could hear her grunting, so I came into the room and watched her twist and turn in a sexual way. And you could just hear her counting. One, two, three. She stopped at 13. When I asked her about the dream and the counting, she said Kenneth and his friends raped her. And it was 13 men. Lauren's night terrors happen almost every night. I can't touch Lauren when she's having a night terror. If you do, she will hurt you. The first night terror that I encountered, I tried to wake her up and she got on top of me and tried to choke me. She normally doesn't sleep next to me because she's scared to. It's like she's reliving each day over and over. Well, Janae, thank you so much for being here, and uh, I really appreciate it. And um, Now, so just so people understand, when we talk about a nightmare, we're talking about dreams with vivid and disturbing content, and these occur during REM sleep. They usually involve an immediate awakening and really good recall of imagery. Night terrors occur during non-REM sleep, so you're not as deep asleep during these times, and they induce terror or panic in the sleeper, and it causes them to scream and shout. They may sleepwalk, thrash about and around in the bed, and they only vaguely remember it. When she experiences this during the night or when you're asleep, she can get very out of control, right? Yes, she can get very violent or reenactment of what she's seeing. You can't see what she sees, you only see what she's doing. And sometimes you want to wake her, you want it to stop, because you don't want to watch her go through that pain, but you know that you can't, yeah. because then you become that person. Right. And are, are you fearful that she's going to injure herself? Yes. During these times, because there are times that she's up and out of bed, right? Yes. She's moving about. Yes. And her eyes are open? Her eyes are completely open. I have to, before we go to bed, I normally put everything away that's sharp, anything that she can hurt herself on. I literally have to baby-proof the house. Right. And um, do you have recollection of this the next day? No. Not a. And um, what did you think when, in the beginning, when you would find her in the closet floor? I thought, okay, maybe it's just a safety thing. Maybe it's just a, she needs to be somewhere closed and tight. If we are somewhere that doesn't have a closet, she will go to the shower, turn on the scalding hot water, and sleep in there. One day she had slept in the shower with the hot water running for about four hours and she had blisters because the water was so hot. The water running on her? Running on her body. Uh -huh. And was she awake? No, she was completely asleep. 